Good morning. So today, um, continuing with uh, Snippet Pixie Next Development. development. Um, let's see where we were last time. Okay, I have a to do. It's handy. Add roots const and router that uses it. Okay, that's right. So I was in the process of starting to add um, page switching in the new GUI for Snippet Pixie um, using uh, the Svelte Spa router, if that's right. Let's have a look at the package. What did I add? Yes, Svelte Spa router. Um, let's, so let's play with that. Um, Okay, we are in app at the moment, app.svelte, which is the main entry point into the uh, Svelte app. Um, have I actually, I haven't done anything that will break it yet, have I? No. So I think I can actually give it a go. Now let's see, um, we're in the right place. So I can do Wales dev, hopefully. Oh, that didn't work. What did I do? So have I actually broken things? Maybe I should, uh, I had to do a couple of reboots and things because I added some stuff the other day. Let's do make clean, make. Looks all right. Make test. Taking a while. Okay, so that was okay. Probably should have done that earlier. There's no changes there. Let's just double check. Do a re resync. Looks okay. So back. Let's try that again. Maybe the changes I've made so far have broken it. Better. Here we go. Don't know what went on there. Maybe I'd we jiggered some of the libraries when I did the, the update as possible, actually. So, um, okay, so that's what we have at the moment. Um, and we've got a button and it does nothing at the moment, apart from an alert. Um, what we want it to do is go to a new, new screen um, where you can add a snippet. So we're in the process of trying to build that. Um, now I've got to try and remember how to do this uh, stuff here. Um, right, add roots const, that's right. Okay, so I need to do something like const roots. Uh, it's just, I think, is it an object? I need to check. I need to check the docs. Okay, let's do it properly. Okay. Yep. Uh, so yeah. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Yep. 
Right, so what we need, get rid of that, um, is we are going to want a, let's just double check. Yeah, uh, we're going to want a home, uh, which in that, our case is actually, well, it's not going to be welcome actually. Hmm, good point. It's going to be welcome for the moment, uh, but that will change. Um, because the welcome page is only really going to be used when uh, you've not got any snippets at all. And then otherwise, you kind of want it to just be um, a listing of snippets. So, but for the moment, that's fine. Um, and then we're going to want a secondary page. Um, and we're going to want this to be, what's the format? Yeah, it's still just slash, yeah. Um, well, we're going to do add snippet. So let's do we can do double duty on a hmm. we could do an edit snippet um, and then depending on whether it gets any params um, it can give different text or we could do separate components um, and they basically reuse the guts of the, like the form twice snippet think I think I'll go with add Is there I think I'll go with yeah. I'm going to do this in good old fashioned um, sort of rest root type thing. So we'll do snippet add, and that means we don't need to do anything about uh, params just now. Then we'll have an add snippet component. So we better make one. So in here, we want a Svelte component to add snippet and just do we'll just do a quick dummy thing here we'll do So we know we've got there. And then back in here, what should we do? Um, we need to replace this.
the router. Oh, I should probably import one first. Oh, is that going to auto complete for me? Oh, it did not. There we go. And then down here. It's roots, is it? Should be. So I can just reuse that. Right, in theory, that back, I do need to import and snip it. There we go. See that auto completed. Uh, and that should give us that now in the welcome instead of doing an alert um hmm, yeah because i'm not using just like a link Good point. Yeah, I am just bubbling up, so let's do. Yeah, I'll keep that because there could be all kinds of things you could do with the button. You don't necessarily want to go to a link. Um, so we'll keep that a bit loosey goosey there. Um. So what we'll do is in the handler, we will try and remember how we can just reuse them. See, that's the normal way you would do it is just you would have a link with a root on it and just say, hey, just use this link. Um, and the router will just do the right thing um, with the action, the link action. But programmatically, which is what I want to do, is just a push. Oh, I could do replace. Because we're in a GUI, we could do that, but I think I'll just do push. Uh, in this case, it's fine. Um, so, yeah, so we'll just do Um, snippet add. What are you complaining? Oh, do I need to do? Oh, yeah, <laughs> the action. Okay. Right, let's reorder these. I always like to have things like core stuff and uh, core libraries first, and then move down into um, screens and uh, extra bits and bobs. So in that case, actually, I should probably put that. 
as that's data for the core component. No, actually I'll do it the other way around. My custom stuff below. Right, so we have in that screen there that we have up, but you might see over there, can't remember. Um, we've got a button uh, which is here and when we click it we're going to call the add snippet handler and it's going to do a push on the browser uh, to snippet add back in app we've got a router which is doing all the work um, and it's going to say hey take me from here to this route here and uh, which is snippet add which is this component so in theory we should just get add snippet so i'm going to save that wales dev has just reloaded and now in theory i can press this and get add snippet cool now doing the back is handily handy there because <laughs> i haven't got any way to get back at the moment but yeah, that's good. Cool. All right. So, um, now I've started hard coding all these labels and titles and things, which is not good. So I should probably, before I get too far, do something sensible there. So okay, let's save this off. I will just say. Then, um, I think I was looking the other day and there is a, a library called um, Svelte I18N, that's the one. There we go. This looks really handy. So in theory, I can set up my uh, my text this way. And I could use dollar underscore and then that. I could even use the default syntax. Hmm. Anyway, documentation. This is where it could get a little, little bit fun. So if using roll up, I need 
to do this plugin JSON. Okay, so there's a synchronous and an asynchronous method of loading everything up. Is that going to cause any issues having asynchronous on the... on a GUI app? I don't think so. So what, what's the difference in, so you hear you. Right, so these are, I don't know, I register in that and then. Hmm. Okay. So in Svelte, the is load in store can help to only show your app after the initial load. As shown in locale. Okay. Okay. That's okay. So there's basically a store that you can use as a boolean. But otherwise, can effectively just use this stuff here. I'm not using Sapper or Svelkit. So I don't need to worry about this stuff. That seems easy enough. Okay, let's, um, shall I? Okay. 
basically I just need this stuff here. I'm only going to have... I'll probably start with here just a simple single file. I wonder if I could reuse that for other stuff. I wonder if the go side of things could use it as well. That'd be handy. I might put the file higher up and then see if there's a way that I can use the same JSON file. So go. If not, I can just move it about later. But yeah, that could be really handy. I haven't looked at the Go side of things yet. Mm, okay. Right, let's do this then. So. I've just grabbed that code, but oh, I need to, I need to install it first. So, yeah, this bit worries me. Sure, we'll find out. Okay, so um, let's let's kill this off. Um, I need to go. Hey, what did I just do? Anything? Nope. Front end. Uh, package. Good there. Oh, we're not using roll up, not directly. We're using beat, which I have no idea how to use. Hmm. Does have roll up. Okay, well, I'm not going to do the JSON plugin first. Or maybe I should check that out. Let's see if it works without it. So we'll just do npm install save dev hey up that's hard Ooh. um save dev Felt I eighteen. No. Yeah, that's right, it's not. Okay. Now that should mean got that in there. Okay. Let's get shot out for a second. Um and let's clean this out as well. Don't need that. Okay, um so 
We've got more top level of these stuff here. We need to We'll take that. Now, why is it complaining? Unused, that's fine. Um, and then we need to register something. I think actually what we'll do In GUI, we will create a directory um, and we'll just call it i18n for the moment. And then in here, we'll create a new JSON file. Sets. Okay, new file. Um, and we will call this, well, let's go ENGB. Should I do a dash? What are they using? What is their standard dash? Okay, let's use that just in case. Hello. Thank you. Yes, please. Uh, and then what's the format? It's pretty simple, isn't it? It's basically whatever you like. It's some sort of key and then potentially a sub key and then more sub keys and off you go. It's basically a key value eventually. And then you could use here page.home.title. Um, as here they've used like page.home.nav and then giving it a default. Um, Do I need to go that far? If I do reuse this for the back end of the ghost stuff and the front end, I don't really want to be doing like the page and this kind of stuff. Um, maybe just a simple key for the moment. Although the idea of different routes to the same thing and calling it different things is interesting. No, I'll keep it simple at the moment. I can always switch things up later. Um, so we'll do in here, 
we have this and we're going to have um, add I'll use underscores because it's kind of like a space um, and it'll simply be a snippet done um, what else have we got in the UI so far in the welcome I won't right snippet pixel itself is not to be localized but this is no snippets found that is always plural so I can keep that and then we've got add snippet we've just replaced so No snippets found. What else we got in there? Nothing other than add snippet, so that's okay. And then add snippet, we haven't done anything yet, but that'll be changing. Um, app hasn't got any, this is just going to be basically roots um, and then in the icon button itself everything should be coming in including the slot where that add snippet comes in uh, we haven't got any other components we're very we're very early on so we're good okay so i think that is everything so far two um so in the app, I should have taken that out. I can now just do effectively that. So we're doing a register. Okay. But we're going to be doing ENGB as the default. And now we've got to go back a whole way to find this thing. So it's Um, where are we? We're here. We're going to go up. Oh, we're only in source, yeah. So, up one into front end. Up another into GUI. And then forward into I18. And then it's ENGB. Got it. Okay, so that's it registered. And then at the end of the script, once we've done all of our basic initialization, I hope this is going to work on it's going to work on spell, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, of course, it's its own. I was just wondering where's this init coming from, but it's coming from Svelte itself, uh, Svelte I eighteen. Um, because I was like, I don't recognise that as being a Svelte um function. So, okay, so that's fine. I can just call that directly. I don't need. 
to be doing at the end. It's part of this. So let's do some comments here. Set up TN. Set up vector. And then So the foot back is going to be in GB. Okay. And then in theory, in welcome, I can replace should import underscore, which is really weird, from so I think let's just double check that's what it is. This is so that's the uh, the function to use, and then in here I can do dollar underscore. Oh, sorry. Make it a function, let's do this. I'm going to put that in function. It's a call to that. It's dollar underscore that. I could use that as a key. Anyway, I'm not. No snippets. Found. And then, right, I want, that is right, isn't it? Yep. And then I want to use similar function setup, but for add snippet. Okay, and then I'm going to copy that. And in add snippet itself, I'm going to have that as being the same thing. Oh. I need to import. All right, this could be interesting. I'm not sure whether this is going to work or not because I didn't do the the loading of stuff. Okay, uh, but I think that's got everything we need in theory. I should do the initialization. I'm not waiting because it should all be built in anyway. I might stick in a little if thing in a minute. But yeah, okay. 
Let's give it a go. Let's see what happens. Step. Mm hmm. Okay. Not quite right. Well, it did bundle it and did load it. So, okay. Did find it. Now it's just whether it actually understood what to do with it. So that's first thing I need to do. Um, is the rooty thing. So it was, uh, I need to do, uh, I need to wait. Was that just in, that was here. Okay. Good now. What was it called again? Is loading. Okay, we'll stick that here then. Keep it alphabetical. And then in here, we won't load the router. So if is loading, we'll do in else if yeah. should in theory switch the router I might have um, I might have to do like an extra initialization for the router on the if on the else okay let's try that oh yeah it doesn't do doesn't do uh, vim keys there we go okay That's what we want. And then it should do that. And then I should be able to just go back for the moment because I'm going to need keys in there. Um, and if I, let's see, if I muck about with the language, so what if I change this to, um, Wibble. Wobble, because you know, got to do that. So if I save that, is this going to detect it? It is. There you go. <laughs> so it's picked up the wibble wobble um, as the lang as the uh, the translation. In this case, smart. Okay, so I'll better undo that. That's it. No snippets found. Okay, well that's good. Um, so we have we have a button. Uh, we have translations now, which is great. Um, and now we just need to start working on the add snippet component itself. 
um, and then uh, from there we'll be able to work on showing snippets as well. Um, although when I do start on the back end stuff, it's actually we're going to have some snippets because I've got a bunch in the daemon, but obviously I can switch that out because it's just a database. Um, so okay, well let's uh, let's save that off um, because uh, that's good progress there. I mean, so there we go. That's all the things we just changed. That's good stuff. Okay. And it's felt I teen in for translations, etc. And I'll push that for safety as well. Oh yeah, because we did a lot of changes there. Okay. Um, right. Can I get back to... Exit destruction mode. There we go. And then I know I can uh, get out of this. So, um, let's try a quick, before I log off, uh, let's try um, full clean build of that, see if it even works. So we will do make clean all. That's removed snippet pixie GUI. And now I can do make. Let's do make a test. Come on. Need to stop doing make clean all. <laughs> it does remove a bunch of stuff. And I do have a bunch of tests in there actually, think about it. Do I make? Cool. Um, and then, oh, maybe I should uh, yeah, okay, just in here for that one. So I should be able to run build Hold on. make it easier for you to see. So I'm going to do build bin snippet pixie GUI there we go so we've got a proper binary run in there and it has loaded it all up um, and I should be able to stick that into i3 I can resize it if I want it's fine and click the button and we've got add snippet but I don't have a context switch um, menu, sorry, because it's not in dev mode anymore. I can't right click and do reload and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm stuck now in there. Hence why we need to do more um, in the next one. But that's good. Cool. Right, well, um, on that note, why don't I need to confirm exit? Um, probably a time for me to get on with my day. Um, so uh, thanks for watching, um, and until next time, you take care.